Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to this video on the rebuild of this 2LW. Um, those who watched the last video will know some of this already but um, we'll just have a quick recap. So hopefully in this video we're going to do the last few jobs that are needed to finish the engine off uh, and then get it outside and uh, do the test run for it. So going around the engine on the far end we need to put some split pins in to secure the flywheel that's not done yet. Uh, this side, injector pipe um, to make up because um, I'm just being a bit pedantic but the original one has got a different nut to the one that's here so we're going to make one that matches. Um, we've got a couple of split pins to put in like on the um, Clevis pin here. Um, coming around to the end uh, we need to put the return line on for the injectors. Uh, fit the temperature gauge that the... Uh, customer wanted. Um, it didn't originally have one but there's a new one to fit into here. Um, and then we get on to probably the last major job which is connecting the water pump to the block. Now this is the original casting um, so we'd normally just bolt that back on but I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera. This casting which is the original is in a pretty poor state and is cracked. So first task in this video as we're having a bit of trouble trying to get hold of one of these at the moment um, is we can't be bothered to try and find one so we're going to cast one. So first job we're going to get on, do that casting, machine it up and then get uh, the last few jobs done on the engine for test run. So here we go, here's the uh, tools and bits and pieces we're going to need to uh, make up the new housing. So we've got the uh, patterns for the outside of the outside shape of the casting. Uh, this item here is for the core box. Now this will create the the passage down through the middle when it's cast. Um, and then these are the boxes that the uh, outer pattern will be put in. And then over there is the furnace, which we'll be using to melt the aluminium in a minute. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is make the cores. Um, now these are made with uh, uh, sodium silicate sand mix. Um, so these set hard and are able to be moved around a little bit. So we're gonna get on, do that, then make the outer shape um, and then get on with the casting. Okay, so now we've done the two cores, because we're going to cast two of them. Um, we've got a bit of silicate sand left over, so we're going to go and uh, make up a core um, for some thermostat housing. So we'll do one, one of those as well.
there we go. So next job, get this all machined up and fitted onto the engine. Okay, so now we finished casting and after a quick spin on the uh, lathe and the mill, uh, we now have a fully machined water inlet. Um, there's the old one, uh, quite badly corroded as you can see compared to the original one and it is cracked just here. So if you can see that on the camera, there's a crack through there and it's obviously not a lot of material left. So anyway, there's the new one, so we'll fit that on. Um, and then once we've done this, the only job left to do is to make up an injector pipe. Um, and then we are ready for uh, fitting it, filling the engine with fluids, uh, ready for a test run. And there we go, that is the uh, water inlet to the block all fitted with the new casting. So we'll get on with the last job to do before test run, which is make up an injector pipe. And then we're ready for uh, seeing if it runs. And here you go, we've uh, made the missing injector pipe up. So that was the last bit missing from the engine. So we have connected up the fuel, uh, primed through the fuel system by opening this vent here. Uh, pumping the ammo lift pump here until you get clean fuel from this point, then close this, open these, carry on with the lift pump until you get clean fuel from here, um, and then what we tend to do is crack the injector pipes off at the injectors, and then you can use the priming levers here to pump fuel up to the injectors. Um, if you've seen our 6LXB rebuild series videos, you'll see us doing it on that. So anyway, We've done that, we filled it with oil, um, we've cranked it over um, to get oil pressure, which we have, so there's oil all around it. Um, and when we're filling with oil for the first time, we tend to do a couple of litres in through the top of the engine to make sure that everything's lubricated up here. Um, that runs down past the camshaft on the way back to the sump, so that lubricates everything there. Um, and then we put the rest of the oil in through the oil filler. So, what we need to do now is, um, see if the engine starts uh, check that we've got good oil flow from all the oil ports on the rocker arms here um, and everything looks good in the top end then we can bolt the rocker cover on um, and then it will be time for the engine's test run uh, once it starts getting warmed up we can set idle speed oil pressure uh, bits and pieces like that and that should be it all done so uh, let's give it a go see if it starts okay so we're going to go for a start so uh, Shouldn't need it today, but we're going to open the cold start and you can see the rack went that way. So that's now fully that way. Uh, next job is we'll just put the camera in the stand around the other side um, so you can see the exhaust um, and we'll give it a go. <laughs> So we've got good oil flow from all the rockers, so we can put the rocker cover back on. Yeah.
so we're all good um no leaks no uh problems with anything there so that's been running for about four hours now um so we're all done with the engine now there'll be a few more videos in this series for the rebuild of the gearbox um but we'll be back next time with uh some more on the dorman 2rb thank you for watching see you again next time if you've enjoyed watching this video please consider liking and subscribing Thank you for watching and see you next time.